Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at uh, calculating time uh, like you would on a time sheet and uh, a couple different tricks and, and things you need to be aware of. Now here's two examples. Let's say I have uh, option one where someone starts at 8 a.m. finishes at 4.30 p.m. Now to calculate that it would seem pretty simple just to do an equals F4 minus F3 and you come up with eight and a half hours. And uh, there I had to do formatting in the hour minutes style uh, on custom to get that eight and a half hours the way I liked it. That makes sense. What if you have someone who works second shift starts at 6.30 and goes to 3 a.m.? Well if I copy that across you can see I get these railroad tracks and those just continue on and on and on so that certainly isn't the answer. Excel has a little bit of trouble doing that so we're gonna have to do this a different way and how we're gonna do that is using the mod function. If we take a look at mod you can see it returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So in this case I'm going to have the number be F4 minus F3 and my divisor be 1. I hit enter and I get eight and a half hours. That works out great. Now if I copy that over to option 2 I also get eight and a half hours which is exactly what it is from 6.30 to 3 a.m. How does that work? Why does that uh, provide the correct answer when using just a typical subtraction didn't work. Well you have to understand again how mod works and also how Excel deals with time. So let's just take a quick look here. I'm going to go to the formulas tab and evaluate the formula. And here we're going to look at the mod G4 minus G3 which takes 3 a.m. minus 6.30 p.m. And if you watch G4 which is 3 a.m. if I hit evaluate that converts it to 0.125. The reason that is is everything in Excel with respect to time is based on a percentage or a fraction of 24 hours. So 3 a.m. which is in, its, in essence 3 hours into the day 3 divided by 24 is 1 eighth or 0.125. So 3 a.m. is 0.125. 6.30 p.m. is 0.770833333. Okay, so if I subtract those two, I hit evaluate again, I get 0.6458333. So if I take 0.6458333 and I say equals that times 24, what do I get? I get 15 and a half hours. Well, if I take equals 1 minus that, which would be the remainder, if I took this number, divided it by 1, the mod function doesn't return the answer, it returns the remainder. The remainder would be 0.354167. And if I take equals that times 24, what do I get? but eight and a half hours. So that's how the mod function is working here. If we go back to our formula equals mod G4 minus G3 comma one and do the evaluation again, <clears throat> excuse me, G4 is 0.125, G3 which is 6.30 p.m. is 0.7708 percent over an hour or into a 24 hour day. We evaluate that, get 0.64 Five eight three 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 divide by one. What's the remainder? The remainder will be the eight and a half, which is 0 0.354167 times twenty four, and that's how you would subtract or calculate um, hours and time in Excel, especially when you're spanning over a twenty four hour period or from one day to the next. Hope it's useful to you. Hope you liked it. If you'd like to see more. Please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.